Hello and a very warm welcome to the Splitwick Modulator tutorial. In this episode I talk about sample and hold. And this modulator just takes an input value at a certain, um, uh, at a certain time, holds it for a certain amount of time and then grab the next one. That's everything. So you can end this um, tutorial right now or you can have a look what I'm doing with it. So let's get started. Okay, here I have an instrument, a polymer with um, two sample and holes and an audio input. And this configuration sounds at the moment like that. Okay, this sounds a little bit like a very disturbing movie score from the 70s. <laughs> but it demonstrates in, in a nice way what the sample and hold modifier or modulator is doing. Because, as I said, I um, use this um, audio input. This is just a, a little beat. And, wait. <laughs> and then um, use this input to modify or to um, yeah, um, feed the sample and hold modulator. And when I play this and put this on big, you see this is the input from the audio file. This is the, all the audio rate. And this sample and hold modulator is modulating um, this filter over here. So, you can imagine that this one is the um, audio file, the waveform from positive to negative. And this is modulating the filter. And if I put it over here like this, the filter is very closed. And I put it on this side, the filter opens more. Like that and then there is um, the smooth operator <laughs> and with this smooth operator I um, ensure that these jumps or cuts from one value to the next value are smooth like a glide for example so if I put that back I have this very harsh cuts when the sample and hold modulator takes the next value If I put it here on smooth, it's like a trumpet player or someone is just gliding up and down for that. And with this um, operator or this styles, I could um, use like a continuous uh, speed speed dial um, from zero zero two to fifty um, hertz. And um, with this um, option. You can define like synced to the um, sync to the um, tempo over here, like in hertz, kilohertz, a bar, or every other node you can imagine, inclusive the hold rate of zero. And um, here down below you have the restart mode, like this is free, always continuous running, so there are no restarts, like you can see here. Then you have the gate with every new node. Um, incoming the sample and hold will um, start grabbing a new value and then there's the sync um, button that syncs to the transport start so um, everything is lined up then if you use um, this time-based um, option with the sync everything is uh, lined up with your if you want that with your um, project tempo so at this point, you, you could use, like um, I did over here, the, the filter, or you can use uh, you can modulate every other parameter that is in any way uh, modulatable, if that is a word. And um, yeah, that's a very sim the simple um, way of using kind of 
a little random values, but they are not that random because you um, take, for example, an, an audio file, but you could, could use as well the audio input with a microphone or something. That uh, then the sample and hold would really take completely random values, or you can use a random um, modulator, or for example, a, a steps modulator. So you could choose in a in a variety of different inputs um, the the another let's say another layer of randomness um, with your sample and hold modulator. Okay, I hope you liked it and maybe you have some really great ideas how to use it and just experiment with that. And I would be very glad to hear about it in the comments. And I would like to ask you for something. Because I'm always happy if I get some feedback from you. Uh, always nice to hear what you're doing with that. And there are a um, lot of people having great ideas and uh, writing to me. So um, be part of that community. And I hope I see you soon again. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.